Hello everyone, it's Charles1K92 again, and we're back with some more AC3. So, we are currently in New York. Give you guys a quick look. So, I have gone on a bit of an a, uh, exploration. So, I found every viewpoint, used every viewpoint to see as much of the city as possible. And, I had taken quite some time to explore every fast travel underground network so everything that's within the city itself has all been charted and all that sort of jazz the only thing that i know from a story wise perspective is that we're still going to have one more fast travel location which will be somewhere within the militarized district which if i'm not mistaken should be down this section or is it more further up i'm not too sure can't remember but it's one of the last ones we need to do, and it's more story-driven than anything else. Anyway, so while being in the city, I have noticed that we do have a homestead mission. And I believe this might be our final artisan to collect. Oh dear. That was just an accident. I didn't mean for that to happen, but that's fine. Anyway. Now, New York is under, well, British occupation. Isn't necessary. I can handle myself. When he returns, he'll try and give me twice the thrashing. Why would you stay with such a man? This is my house and business. It's my tailoring that paid for this place. I'll take his drunken buffoonery over leaving behind what I've built. If I told you there was another place where you could live and work, free of him, would you consider it? The catch? No catch. Our village is growing and in need of all forms of trade. Just business? and a new life. I'll come and see if what you say is true. There we go. So every single time you collect an artisan, they do bring something to the table themselves naturally, as like a level one. So, since we've got this person into our homestead, Um, probably be best to actually go to the manor house itself. Now, I know probably some might turn around and say, Charles, you haven't even gone and done any naval missions just yet, which I know I haven't, but there's a few things I want to get done that's, it's not campaign-wise, it's just, well, map exploration. So as these videos are progressing, I am earning cash for the game, as it were, because, you know, you need money to kind of get things done. So, yeah. The moment I have the Aquila up, more or less at maximum grade, the sooner I'm able to do stuff. Anyway, so, we should at least now have um, a couple things. So, we technically should have every artisan, but we just need them to get to a particular level so that way everything becomes available. So, the moment since we get um, Ellen, who is our brand new tailor, we're able to get ourselves some more, well, pouches. And I believe, is there anything else that we can get from her? Oh yeah, here we go. So, we would also need to get uh, other resources as well. So like, snare pouches, 
We can also get two in holsters, but she has to become level two for this. Uh, candles is what she's able to make. Uh, wool, threads, so on and so forth. So if we were to max this out, there we go. Is there anything else that we can make? Make nails. And because she's here now, we can uh, make a whole slew of clothing, but we would have to gather particular resources on our own to, well, make them. Uh, let's see. Bandages. Metal work. Mining tools. Then we've got miscellaneous, uh, we can make windows, uh, hair accessories, all supplies. Uh, we can make um, firearms to officer swords, saddles, sails for ships, and everything else. Not to mention other bits and pieces. Now, we did spend on a couple of items, so we're going to have to, well, make the purchases all over again. Is there any more? Nope. Herbs, we're good on those. Hair meat, why not? Okay, so these are all the materials so far that we've made. Okie dokes. So, um, that's Ellen's shop. Big Dave Smith. Alright, so, I reckon if we go to Big Dave's first, then Ellen, then we can go here. So, we'll fast travel to this location because it makes time and money easier. Ellen. We're not going to talk to her just yet. Connor, you uh, have a minute, my friend. Is it coming, Big Dave? You make any progress on the knife? I would like to give it to Miriam soon. The steel Norris smelted is something else. I've rarely seen such fine metal. The trouble is my old tools aren't hard enough to work it. But the ones I need aren't hard to find. A shop or two in New York sell them at a good price. I'd do it myself, but with the regulars after my head, I'll stay here safe and sound if I can. I have matters to attend to in New York. I will see to it the next time I journey there. Sounds good. Okay, so find both pieces of Dave's new hammer in New York. 
that's an easy mission to do. So, New York. I know there's a shop nearby here, so why not? Magic teleportation powers have been activated. Hello, friend. How can I help you? There we go. While we're here, let's just have a look at a couple of weapons. Yeah. Officer's sword. A majority of this stuff, apparently, crafting recipe can be found in chests in New York from Sequence 9 onwards. Okay. Crafting recipe can be found in a chest in Boston from Sequence 6. Okay. So I probably have found these. Maybe. I don't know, since I probably have picked them up and I can't tell you. Heavy weapons. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I've found every chest, and if it's a weapon that needs to be crafted, then I don't really have much to worry about. Uh, Duckford pistol, French coat pistol, uh huh, English flintlock, royal pistol. Now that one is the best, I think. Besides pit kinds. Pitcairn Putnam Pistol. Yeah, why not? Anyway. Uh, outfits. Three, five, six and a half, seven, nine and a half. Ten and a half. Oh, I could, but I won't. Got all these chests. All right. Captain's on a warpath for that deserter. What's his name? Big man or some such thing? Big Dave. Did in a whole unit escaping, they say. Dave's in for a rough ride, seems to me. Hmm. Looks like old Dave's gonna be in trouble. I have the tools you requested. Ah, excellent. I'll get right to work. Norris has been hanging around pestering me about his knife. <laughs> I thought you should know I overheard some regulars talking. They are looking for you. I imagine they are. I'll have to face them sometime or another. And there we go. Big Dave now has 
uh, an extension onto his home. So, recipes can is now been discovered, which are weapon blades, flints, and belt buckles. So. Day, Connor. I left some bolts of fine silk in my old home. They are very valuable, but I don't think it wise I return there. Someone might wind up dead. I was hoping you could retrieve them for me if you had time. <sighs> it's back and forth, back and forth, in it? Hmm. All right. Okay, let me go back to Alan. I know this probably does seem like a bit of a... Oh, excuse me. ...thing of going a load of back and forth, back and forth. And it is. It's literally a, a chore to do this, but it's a necessary chore. I found your bolts. Wonderful! I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Your husband was there, speaking ill of you. He ran off when he saw me. Oh my. That dirty, rotten bastard of a man would do something like that. At least you were able to come away with the only thing of value that remained there. Thank you, Connor. Okay. Nice. Ah. All right. After this, it should be dealing with Miriam. But we do have this one, which is to progress further with, um,
Excuse me. Might I impose upon the kindness in your heart to give bed and board to a weary traveler? Oh, traveler from where? Across an ocean. London. English! <laughs> Rest assured, I'm not the king's man. A great kindness. Bless you. We work hard for what we have here, old man. What is it you do exactly? I wish to provide God for those who seek his salvation, not spoon-feed his word to those who already have their own. An outlook not shared by the monarchy. Lord knows some of us have things to confess. Ollie and I have been missing our Sunday Mass. I'd like Maria to read the Bible. I'm sure if we all pitched in, we could build a church. If you'd be our pastor. Connor? Welcome, Minister... Father. Father Timothy. All right. Well, Father... Bless you. This will build a fine place of worship. We are smiled upon. There we go. Albeit, let's just say for Connor, this isn't necessarily his um, religion, but doesn't stop anyone from having some form of faith. Now, my guess, because I want to give Miriam the knife that she needs... That's going to be Lance's wood shop, isn't it? Hmm. Alright. Knife, Lance, then that. Is that the right way? Did I go? So right now, the homestead is in fact full of all kind of artisans at this stage. There isn't going to be anything missing. Not yet, Prudence. You're going to have to hold on to whatever it is that you've got going on. What are you doing out here? I want to give Miriam her knife. Maybe you come with me? Of course. What is keeping you? I am nervous. I am certain she will love the blade you made for her. What am I doing? Giving a woman a knife as a gift? It's so stupid. This is something she will appreciate and use. Ugh. I made the stupid thing. I might as well give it to her. Technically, Big Dave made it, but okay. Although he did mine the mineral, so... Come on, Norris. Mm. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Norris. Hello, Connor. I'd love to stay and chat, but I promised Ellen a bale of furs this week, and I'm not even close to making good. I need to get out into the bush right away. Two hunters are better than one. I can help if you like. Would you? I'd be much obliged. I, uh, I bring something for you. Maybe, uh, it will help? I really must get moving. I will thank you properly when I get back. Until then... 
Meet me at my northernmost hunting blind after you take your first skin. Hey, wolves. Come in. Connor needs some backup. Bloody hell. Not him. It's you the again. Time for forgiveness has passed. Please don't kill me. I'll never come back. That's what you said the last time. I'm had this blade, that lick spittle might have gutted me. A timely gift from Norris, it would seem. Indeed. I must make sure to thank him properly. Um. Great, she can now produce level 3 tier items, which means more money for us. And for her as well. All right. Well, we did warn that same individual the last time, and he didn't listen. You know what, screw it, we'll go talk to um, Prudence next. I mean, after all, she is probably expecting. And if that's the case, then we're gonna have to seriously get the Doctor involved. Prudence. Connor, thank the Lord. Prudence, are you all right? What are Connor, you doing out here in the woods? Thank goodness, the baby's coming. We need to get you to Doctor White. No, I can't move. Take my horse. Bring him here. Go. God damn. Dr. White, come with me now. What's wrong? Prudence is in labor in the forest. In the forest? What in bloody hell is she doing out there? Does not matter. We need to get water. Now? Yes!
Warren, are you here? Over here. What's the trouble? Where is she? Tell me how she seemed to you. In great pain. She could not move herself. Was she pale? Was there blood? Not that I saw. Might be we have some time. We must hurry! Dr. White, hurry up. Hello, Doctor. I think I can manage at the moment. Is she all right, Doctor? No, she's not all right. She's having a baby, and here, by the looks of it. Yes. Looks to be in fine health as well. Has a good set of lungs on him. <laughs> no, I don't mean to rush you, but we need to get both you and... Does he have a name yet? Hunter. Almost getting there, aren't we? I don't mean to be a bother, but I wanted to ask you something. When my cars went up in flames, I lost most of my tools. I've got some spares back at my shop in Boston, but, as you know, I'm not really welcome around there. I thought if it wasn't too much trouble, you could help me retrieve them? What would you have me do? Watch my back while I gather them. Meet me in Boston at my old shop. Why is it they always seem to forget to bring their most important prized possessions with them? Tools, equipment... Oh, his thing is there. Not where I wanted to go. Connor, good to see you. Been trying to avoid eye contact with my old neighbors. So far, so good. Not so worried now you're here. How are you doing otherwise? Oh, all right, I suppose. Things never really go as planned, but that's life. Really? How do you mean? You know, 
you make a plan and it all goes awry and nothing gets better, only slightly different. Sounds like you have had a string of misfortune. It will pass. Hmm. What are you doing here? Sweeping my steps, if it please you. Since when are these your steps? Since I bought them three weeks ago. From who? The owner, via his apprentice. Owner shipped off out of town, what's it to you? I am the owner? Not anymore, mate. Sorry, better sort things out with your apprentice. He's open at the pub over there, but I'm sure you already knew that. Patrick. Lance! Patrick! What gave you the right to sell my shop? Well, you were run out of town. I thought you'd never come back, so I sold it all. The shop, the tools. It's rough luck. Anyway, it's been great chatting, but I must be off. Have a nice life. What rot! Tools are a woodworker's lifeblood! He'd never sell them! I bet he's got them stacked somewhere! Oh, excuse me. Then we follow him. I'll load these in the cart come nightfall and be in New York, free of this rubbish for good before the month is out. That's something, at least. Thank you. I still can't believe he sold my shop. I'll see you back at the homestead.
righty. Um, hmm. No more chests in Boston. Right, back towards the homestead. A lot of crafting to do. And naval convoys. Yeah. Naval convoys. Quick look see. Uh huh. Alright, so Lance's Woodshop, Miles End, Cooley Bully. So. Now, technically, we can start building some of this stuff for um, the manor. Best to wait, though. Now we can make that, so what we're going to do is build our holster. That's done and we never have to make that ever again. Materials. We are missing iron ore now, aren't we? Oh boy. Now I don't know if I just have to update the outfit to make the change actually instant or if I just change my firearm. 
So let's go with firearms first. Uh, where would they be? Here. Okay, so we've got the double barrel. We've got the pirate flintlock. Scottish flintlock. And just a basic flintlock. Mm hmm. Okay, still doesn't recognise the change. Big sad. Um, hmm. Right. Perhaps outfit change. I'm going to be picky. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Look, Connor looks like his granddad. Tell you what, though, it is a bit surreal, really. A Kenway wearing a Kenway outfit. If only Connor was allowed to wear his father's. Right, outfit. So we can't do that. And ta da! Okay. And this place has now definitely come a long way. So it's gone from being a a compound HQ for the Assassin Order, which is all true by the way. And now it has seen the greatest change by becoming its own small community. And perhaps for a time, with the assassin presence slowly growing, that um, assassins would once again live here. But the funny thing is, there is a tale which is related to the manor house, is um, at some point in the future, in this particular area, the homestead's manor house just disappears. Like, it's gone. It doesn't even exist there. My guess is during the time of Connor um, being in charge and all, um, probably asked for it to be like dismantled so that way the traces of this place just doesn't exist. Whether or not people still live here though is a Connor. good question. What? Connor! Ellen's dullard of a man is trying to break down her door with his mates. We're on our way to stop it! Ellen and Maria are free of you. I say so. The people behind me say so. Believe me when I tell you, if I ever see you on this land again, I will end you. You can have them. Hmm. Thank you, all of you. Nobody has ever stood up for us before. We protect our own, Ellen. This is my home now. 
I'll find a way to show my gratitude to you all. I promise. Is that piece of shit still there? I'm still gonna kill him. Oh. There we go. And time has seen a bit more of an upgrade. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, it's already completed, so I don't need to look at it again. Hip, 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 hooray! My friend! Norris, what are you doing? She said yes! Marion? We are getting married! <laughs> I told you not to touch him, Norris. Is it true? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> so now that you've been told, might I have a word? We have much work to do. Of course, what would you have me do? Accompany me to the inn. I have business there. Norris is a stickler when it comes to tradition. Miriam knows not where her father is, and they were hopeful that you might act his part at the ceremony. I am not familiar with colonial wedding customs. It means you will walk with her during the ceremony, and give her to Norris, as her father would. I would be honored. Wonderful! On to other business. Our weddings are complex beasts, and require many hands working together to execute. We'll need Warren and Prudence to provide food, Ellen to make them appropriate clothes, Big Dave to smith wedding bands, me to conduct the service, and Oliver and Corinne to host a banquet. That is a lot. We'll start here. Oh, coming up to our time. Hopefully we're able to do this within the five minutes Connor, we've got left. Everything seems to be in order for the big day. It is. Except uh, I can't find Miriam. Uh, I'm certain she's making sure all is perfect. I will find her, my friend. All right. Miriam. She hasn't been kidnapped, has she? She's the runner. That cheeky cow. She's probably afraid. You, 
She's probably terrified. That's what it is. Miriam? Why do you run? Nobody oh. thinks you are one. Of course. Just somehow let her get away quickly while I try to climb the ladder the wrong way around. <sighs> That's balls. It's not me that she's going to be marrying, is it? It's going to be Norris. Hey, no. Time is of the essence. Leave. Why do you run? Nobody thinks you are one. That's what all this means. There we go. Look. You're not going to be throwing your life away. You're going to be building a bloody life. Now, if I have to hold a gun to your head... Here we go. You may kiss your bride. Ah, isn't that lovely? <laughs> right. Well, we're going to stop the video here temporarily. Uh, but when we get back, uh, there'll be more, as we can clearly see. <laughs>